Hey everybody, welcome back to another live feed of Independence Titles uh, Town Hall. We are gonna be joined here by my friend Chris. I'm gonna bring him on here from Gold Star Mortgage. We're gonna ask him a couple questions about the market, what's going on in the mortgage market. I've known Chris for quite some time uh, and just kind of get a perspective from the mortgage side of how things are, because I can tell you all day long about the title side, uh, but unless we bring on someone from the mortgage side uh, to hear, you may not believe me. So, Chris, welcome to the uh, call today. Hey, man. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you? Well, trying to give out money every day, help a new client, at least at least one new client every day. Well, that's a good thing, right? You got We're it. We'll keep him busy. You no, I mean, every, every, uh, everything is on our side. We are still busy. Purchases are still closing. Refinances are still closing. Rates are moving. So, I mean, the market is strong. So now it's a matter of, you know, getting that confidence back out there to keep people moving. Absolutely. Awesome. So I've known Chris for quite some time. I met Chris. We've done a couple of deals over the years. Unfortunately, Chris doesn't get to use me that often because he does a lot of Palm Beach business. And, and for those of you that know, uh, Palm Beach County picks the uh, title company. The seller usually picks the title company. So when, when Chris is doing the uh, mortgages for the buyer. He doesn't get to uh, select our company, but occasionally we get a Broward deal here and there where we're the title company and, and usually works pretty smooth. Gold Star is a great company. Uh, we, we've done a lot of business with them over the years, so uh, we highly recommend them. So let's talk a little bit about the, uh, well, first tell everyone a little bit about you, how long you've been doing this, uh, you know, j just so they kind of get to know you a little bit. Well, I've been in this business now 20 years. I uh, started in the back end in compliance and worked my way around. And I've been a uh, branch manager for Gold Star for the past 10 years. We are a lender based out of Ann Arbor, Michigan. My branch is in Wellington. We have a few branches down here in the South Florida area as well, both East and West Coast. So we're able to service the entire state and also the uh, the country at, at, at least. Absolutely. Thank you. So so how are the rates going now? I know a couple of weeks ago they were super, super low. They ticked up a little bit. Um, but how are the rates been? So, I mean, we saw an improvement today. Um, and, and I mean, honestly, I've been watching and I mean, just looking at at things today, uh, you know, we're seeing some improvement. Mortgage backed securities are up 30 basis points, which what that means when the price of that is up, rates are down. And, you know, we had a couple of days there where the price went way down and it pushed rates way up where locked at our lock desk really just shut down for the day because the the instability in the marketplace uh from our side of it i mean we are seeing some things and i hate to you know knock on wood but we are seeing some things settle um could we see it come lower yes uh but it's it's really getting the the panic out of the the marketplace i mean markets are strong and i mean when you're seeing rates in the twos and uh, low threes on, on a long 30 year fix, that's a that's a heck of I mean, that's free money. Uh, but rates are low. Uh, and, it, you know, I mean, we have seen them come down this week. They went up, they're down, up, down. So, I mean, really, it's trying for the consumer catching it on its lowest point. Awesome. So now's the time. You know, we, we did a video yesterday. We were talking about, you know, the fear factor that, that people are watching the news and, you know, feeding into the fear. But we still see agents are, are doing deals. Investors are doing deals. The banks are still lending money. You know, maybe the uh, which we could talk about in a second here, the restrictions that Chase put in. You know, that's the biggest hype now. Everyone's talking about the restrictions that, you know, Chase put in requiring, I think, a certain credit score or down payment. You want to talk a little bit about that? Chase on their own end put out 700 score with 20% down. That is not industry wide. That's them making their own statement. That doesn't really have an impact on the rest of us. Uh, I mean, on, on the conventional loans, you're still looking 620 score. Uh, FHA loans, FHA really on a, on a fear cycle, you've seen scores move up and then we've started to see some release on that side of it as well. Same with VA. And it's the same thing on the rates for FHA and VA. We've seen some reprieve coming back down on that. So what Chase did is that's on them, uh, but the rest of the industry has not followed suit in that. All right. So you can still get someone a great rate, not having to put 20 percent down. Uh, it's not something that that everyone should start being uh, scared of. Not at all. I mean, rates in the rates in the threes on three percent down on a conventional loan is still there and buyers are still happy jumping at properties. All right. So we have a question here. 
um, th from Andrew talking about thoughts about smaller mortgage servicers and liquidity. So, and I was just on a call about that. Some of the servicers, uh, yeah, there is the there is the fear about the the liquidity there because of and that that part of the conversation about the the forbearance of the deferments because that does eat into their cash cycle and that was a big fear, which is what caused some rates to go up because you had the investor portfolio side of it saying, wait a second, if we don't get any relief in this stimulus package, you're going to put us out of business, meaning the government. So. There is, you know, are they completely liquid? No, um, but I mean, smaller servicers, they are still around. Uh, they have slowed on buying some paper, but there are still plenty of servicers out there. And I think more servicers are gonna pop up or, or companies pop up to service the loans because there is the advantage there. And we talk about this uh, forbearance or they, you know, they give you three months. Um, do you have any ideas of what they're saying as far as, you know, if, if someone were to make an arrangement to stop making their mortgage payment for three months, there's fear that they're just going to tack on the full balance on month four, or are they spreading it out over time or, or have they not really decided yet? So every servicer is different and, and that's where you have to read the fine print and figure out what they're offering you because some, are they deferring it? It is possible. I don't want to say yes, they are but it's read the fine print. What exactly are they offering? Today, a true forbearance is a delayed payment. So, I mean, I recommend from my side of it, it's only for those that really need it. It is not a time off plan to where they're gonna attack it at the end of the loan, like a car payment where they have the ability to do it. A mortgage, you have your fixed terms there where that note is due on a certain day. Uh, most forbearance, what we're seeing is three months and it's due on the fourth month after the third month or in the third month, the server is saying, if you're still out of work, call and they can continue to work the arrangement out. And then obviously if they continue to get worse, then they're going to be looking at doing different modifications, things like that. But servicers are doing everything possible to prevent any type of crisis that we went through back in 2008 and nine. We don't want to see a housing crisis and, and the, the really they stepped up this time and same thing from our underwriting standpoint we're doing more verifications to prevent a housing crisis and crash and just give anybody a loan which is what was happening before so now it's they've really stepped up to say look we want to do everything to prevent you from losing your house awesome well yeah i mean we know that if we got further down uh, into the worst case scenario, they may start tacking it on, but I don't think they're there yet. That's what they did years ago. Uh, and it doesn't really do anyone any good. It just causes more problems. So, so we've always encouraged people, pay your rent, pay your mortgage payment, do everything you could possibly do to pay those big bills. I'd sooner rather see someone make an arrangement with maybe their uh, FP&L company or cell phone company before they start making deals with their, uh, with their mortgage and stuff. Exactly. Awesome. So now let's switch a little bit. We talked a little bit about mortgages. You know, let's talk a little bit. So if you look at your website here, I'm going to put it up here. You have a huge team. Talk a little bit about you, your company. You know, let the viewers know what what motivates Chris when you get up in the morning. What motivates you to do deals? I mean, this team here that you're looking at. I mean, we we pride ourselves on helping new people. Every every single person has their own unique situation, and we treat that situation like gold. And it's and it's honestly because we want to make sure that somebody, whether it's purchase or refinance, or even if they're in credit trouble, we're going to evaluate it and see what needs to be fixed. And I mean, when from the first conversation all the way through closing, I and mean, we form long-term relationships with these individuals, and they're not just a number or a loan number. We do welcome them in after our closings. We say, welcome to the Gold Star family, because we feel it is one big family. We're bringing people in. And we want them to know everything that's going on through the process. Like I said about credit, we pull somebody's credit and it's not where it needs to be. We're going to work with them, run the credit simulators to see what needs to be done to fix that credit and improve the score because your cell phone bills, your car insurance rates, those are all based on credit. And we want to help them improve it. It's not just, well, there's some number hanging out there over their head. And then with the team, some of the team members here, the real estate agents and loan officers. So with our industry, we are able to have both originators and real estate agents on the team. Now, obviously a real estate agent can't write, write government loans and be the real estate agent on that type of transaction. 
But everybody here, some have been in the business for a long time, some have not. And that's where we want to, you know, young or old, we want to help them succeed through the business. Myself, my partner, Rob Cron, in, the, in our branch, we both been in the industry for, I've been 20 years. Rob is right behind me on that. Both with, we started with the company at the same time. We've been working together as partners since 2006. So we have the close knit bond there. And I mean, the branch has been in Wellington, like I said, since 2010. And I mean, we, we really have a, a close knit family, not the biggest team, but not the smallest out there. It's okay. You do the right thing for people. That's all that really matters. Now, I know Chris through uh, the Indian princess program, which is dads and daughters go camping. Yes. In Florida, we still have camping. Uh, we, we still go camping and, and, you know, I have always said any, any father that I know that makes the commitment of being in that program is just a great person. So, you know, I definitely know you're trustworthy. Uh, you know, so, you know, we're looking at going through, obviously this crisis, we're looking at all these healthcare professionals and, and, you know, they're being called superheroes. And, mm -hmm. and, you know, I look at our industry as the same thing. Like sometimes you just, you know, you, you get faced with challenges and you have to just be a superhero. So, yeah. so let me ask you the question. If you had one superpower, what would it be? To be honest, mine, and, and uh, just thinking about that, um, I think it'd be time travel. And it, it being able to jump forward and back in time to figure out, okay, if, you know, like crisis that we have now, what, what do we need to solve that? So I could speed up and then, then jump back in time there, or, or even just for the pleasure of, going way back in time or way forward in time to see how things are. But I mean, in, in times now where, where we need stuff, I think being able to, to forecast, you know, kind of like Marty McFly's uh, sports book, just being able to see what, what's to come and, and be able to, to tackle those things as, as they come at us. All right. So I have two more questions for you. So let's yeah. just predict. And obviously we don't have a crystal ball, um, but I love doing some predictions. So let's predict we're sitting here 12 months from now. Where, where do you see the market? What do you see? Uh, maybe something you'd like to accomplish if we're looking back at this video in 12 months from now and you say, you know what, I knew it. What would that one thing be? I think the market's going to be strong as ever. And and I, I think with the steps that are being put in place right now, it's to keep this market going. I mean, we've had a good ride at this market the past few years. There's a lot of buyers still coming out of the woodwork today looking for properties and, you know, young and old and, it, and it's right now people can't go anywhere so we are seeing them save a bit more money but it is we are seeing a lot of activity and i mean with rates where they're at people are refining bringing those payments down yes they're taking some cash out doing a lot of home improvements but 12 months from now i think we're gonna have a stronger market than what we had at the beginning of this year which was very strong awesome last question i have for you before we uh tell you uh viewers how they can get a hold of you you have any favorite quotes of yours that you like to throw out there there's always one success is never owned it's rented and the rents due every day you've got to get up, go. up every day and get yeah you know one of the things that keeps me going i get up i i, I train with a u.s marine uh, you know I'm, I'm down 85 pounds uh from my heaviest and and i just train as hard as i can i get up you know and i tell people i i do the same thing every day it's one of those things like people see me, I wear the same shirt, not the same shirt. It's a different, you know, it's, it's obviously clean, but I wear the same style of shirt, pants, socks, shoes every day, uh, sort of like uh, Mark Zuckerberg. You know, he talks about he wears the same thing every day. So it's one less thing to think about. And then every day I go to bed and I just rinse and repeat the next day. I wake up and do the same thing. And obviously weekends are slightly different. But during the week and my wife will be the first to say I'm very routine based. And anytime I get out of my routine, I'm not a happy person. I love to uh, just be in my routine because that's what, what helps maintain my success and maintains, you know, the business that we have going. So thanks for joining me today. I really appreciate you taking the time. I know you're busy hopping on a bunch of calls and, and closing some loans. Uh, I appreciate you uh, reaching out and, and getting on this call with me. How can users, I did put your uh, website, your local lender here below. Is there any other way people can get in touch with you? Uh, best phone number is 954 nine nine three five zero nine two or right there on the website and they can get me there awesome so thank you very much i appreciate you joining us today for those of you that are watching we're going to be doing these every single day we're going to try and bring on some powerful guests to hopefully add some value to to your business your life while we're in this uh virtual world so thanks for watching independence titles 
uh, town hall. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow with another great episode. Give us a thumbs up, share on social media, or shoot us a direct message if you'd like to see any certain guests on, or if you have any questions you would like answered. So Chris, again, thanks for coming on. Keep writing them loans. And I look forward to seeing you hopefully at a closing table uh, once this opens back up again. Thanks, Kevin. See you soon. Have a great day, everyone.